um, well, Hulk Nerdy to Me, presented by The Slate. I am Matthew Klein, the Arts and Entertainment Editor. Uh, my name is David Yearwood, and I am the Assistant Arts and Entertainment Editor. And I'm Zach Davis, Chief Copy Editor. Um, basically, the intent of the show is to just go ahead, re record some segments, and um, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about anything arts and entertainment. So what we have here, I have my little Walking Dead themed hat, and uh, we're just going to pull topics out of it and see what we get and talk about it. Obviously, you can see we don't know what they are. We were, wrote them down, obviously, but it will be completely random. So you guys, All right, we're back. Let's do another topic. Uh, okay. Is this the same one? Uh, superhero movies and nerd culture. Oh, That's a good one. This, this, could get, this could get deep. Okay. This could be like the entire 10 minutes. Okay. My th the thing that I always think about when, we t when I talk about this with like my friends and stuff is that the X-Men movie, the first one that came out in 2000, was the, was the tipping point that really was like, this is the future. Because after that came out, then you got Spider-Man, and then True. Batman, all this stuff started to come out, and then Comic-Con started getting big, and then that yeah. became more commercialized than just nerds uh, talking yeah. about comics. Yeah. Comic-Con's huge now. There's so many non-comic things at Comic-Con. It's yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's insane. Because then yeah. people go there to, to just hang out with other nerds or like, this is, this is stupid because you can't even move. That's what I always yeah. hear. Like, I, I've always wanted to go. I'm thinking about going next summer because insane. the summer of 2015 is going to be insane. Yeah. And so all the stuff previewing for that is going to be next summer. Yeah. But I don't know if I want to go anymore because you can just watch everything on YouTube now. But True. It's just so packed. There's like a hundred and some thousand people that go to comic yeah. every year now. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's just like it's it just shows that nerd culture is so much more than just geek reading comic books or mm -hmm. talking about superheroes. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's, it's pretty much it's it's it is the future because it gives everybody a chance to like like superheroes and yeah. stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a very interesting thing to just see it evolve. It used to be like you know, looked down upon and everything exactly. and everybody's like, oh, it's, you know, dumb or weird or anything like that. Yeah, and now you hear, the, you hear the phrase nerd chic, like, that's yeah. actually yeah. serious. It's yeah, there are companies that make nerd stuff, like furniture, and, like, yeah. they make bank. Yeah, Just, they make heavy bank. Yeah. Um, it's definitely not a cheap hobby, never has been. No. And people realize Comic that books, it. that's killing yeah. me right now. Yeah. And, um, but with it, we get a lot of the, uh, um, like fake nerds or like fake, yeah. I don't want to like I don't want to like call people fake for like liking something and not yeah not yeah cause, yeah because people will be yeah. like oh cool Thor and then yeah. but then they're not they're not like I'm not it's like, cool it's they're not like oh cool Thor they're like oh cool a yeah Thor movie because no, it's, like, it's cool I don't lock on people for not knowing everything about it like you don't uh, have yeah, to know yeah, yeah. like every single thing about it you yeah. can just like it well but some but people like like they like, they they like it, it to, they like it they to like it yeah yeah they display from like oh I love Thor like no you don't love Thor like you're a fan yeah you're not a yeah. See, I'm not a huge fan of the Thor comic books because the original ones they talked like like Greeks or something. It was it was ridiculous. But now there's this new comic book out that like, called Thor got Thunder, which is awesome. But people like I don't even know what's there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know I know with that there's also uh, yeah there's also like reverse nerd culture. There's like I, I was reading a thing about like uh, people who dress up as like the shirtless Bane from the Dark Knight Rise. Dark Knight Rises movies, yeah. and like uh, not even know anything about Batman, they were just saying like show up their muscles and pick up women. See, I, like, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, like, I don't like that. Yeah, no, I've I've read a little bit about that online, which I kind of disturbed me. So it kind of works like both ways. Yeah, with uh, you know just trying to fit in or just trying to like look cool because there's a lot of stuff like yeah. that nowadays. Um, it, yeah, I mean, it's a really interesting culture because it's just now recently evolving. Yeah. And then you, you get the absolutely ridiculous stuff. I'm against the crowd on this one, but I hate Big Bang Theory with every fiber of my being. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's just such a bad um, I show. I hear that from a lot like, of people. No, because it's, it's, I, think it's, I think it's not a great show, but it's funny. It, it's funny. That's the thing. It's funny. But as, as a show, show, as a show, as a linear show, it's not. It's not good. It's it's targeted for nerds, but it ends up making fun of them. Yeah. You know, and it turns in. I saw this comic of just you know, uh, you know, uh, what's his face making fun of Penny or whatever mm -hmm. it is. And, you know, her being a blonde. Oh, you're blonde, not a scientist. It's very stereotypical. You know, it's like it's very stereotypical and pushing people into their corners. Like, yeah. Geeks are super geeky, and then yeah, dumb. Blondes are right, no offense, they, but they don't want to. They don't want to go out with the hot chick because they got Halo Fridays. Like, are yeah, you yeah, yeah. They can't go out with the hot chick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's just, it, it was always there. It's just presented in a very wrong manner. Yeah, when they're aiming for something completely different. So that's the only thing that really bothers me about that show. But that's that's another thing I just thought of is like the a lot of the nerd culture is about bringing people together and like merging different groups. But I feel like it's starting to go back again to splitting groups up because like people it's like that back to that jock versus like well, nerd it's culture. so it's so mainstream nerd culture <laughs> itself is so mainstream now that 
you have, you're gonna have your more hardcore nerds yeah. that are like still Trekkies who don't like the new movies yeah. kind of thing, and mm -hmm. then like the people that only like the new movies and all this kind of crap are gonna so push away. Yeah, you're gonna have like shifts and yeah. different factions. Exactly. Yeah. Honestly, the some of the worst arguments I've ever seen were between like new and old stuff or like being a you know legit fan or watching all the original wait stuff. Till yeah. Star, uh, yeah, Star wait until Star Wars. Yeah, wait until Star Wars is gonna be nuts. Honestly, yeah. I don't think it's. I probably don't. I don't think it's probably gonna be good. But I, the people they're talking about. All right, well, we'll go ahead and wrap this up. Um, so just for future reference, if you want to see any topics on the show, you can just go ahead and speak to any of us personally. Get us on Facebook or Twitter. Or Twitter. Email us at slateae at gmail.com. All of it will be in the description on how you can recommend topics. If you wanted to even come on to the show, um, do a little talking with us. We can, we're can. always open to that. We're always open to new ideas. Probably the easiest way, if you have a quick idea or something you want us to talk about, throw something in the comments and we'll just read that and talk about it. Yep. And then, um, I know David and Zach have some more show ideas coming yep. up here. We're probably we're gonna try and do a comic of the week, an app of the week. I want to do some <laughs> gameplay stuff and like do game reviews, which would be cool because I know a lot of people are interested in that. Yeah. Yep. Um, they're doing GTA Five and a comic of the week, app of the week, stuff yep. like that. We have a lot of ideas that we want to get going. Um, you know, it all comes from general interest. So, uh, thanks for watching the first episode of Talk Nerdy to Me. I'm sure uh, we'll have a lot more to come in the future months. Yep. Thanks, guys.